So in approaching a question like this one, the first thing you want to do is take any kind of ionic compound, any compound, and break it up into ions in solution, and then check this redox chart that you have, reduction potentials chart, to find the highest substance on the left side and react it with the lowest substance on the right. If they're all written uh, as reduction reactions and that the highest voltages you'll see on the far right hand side are listed from, from highest positive value to lowest negative. Okay, now when you do that, here's what you get for this one. A list of chemicals first. I like to start off with a list that says I've got lead solid and silver and nitrate ions, that's silver nitrate, swimming around in solution, and water. Water's a reducing and oxidizing agent it's on the chart on both sides. But the highest one on the left is the silver ion, and the lowest on the right is the lead ion. So silver's up here, lead's down here, and what we've got is a redox reaction that can occur. Now, all we do is this. Find the SOA, which is the one on the left-hand side, and all you do is you write the half reaction out from left to right, exactly the way it says on the chart. Just write it out. But the one that's the SRA on the right side, right side, SRA, I know it's reducing agent, but it stands for the right. You've got to take that reaction and realize that if you copied it out from left to right as well, you'd have two reduction reactions. So you reverse it. The SRA on the right side gets reversed. And you take that reaction, the half reaction that you see in the book, and reverse it. So you make it oxidation, and then you can add it to the reduction reaction. When you do that, you have to make sure that the electrons cancel. And in order to make sure of that, you've got to see that there's a ratio here of two electrons being lost, but I'll only gain one. So we've got to run through this reaction twice. This half reaction gets multiplied by two, then added to this one so the electrons can cancel. You can't have electrons left over in the net equation. They have to cancel. So you get 2Ag positive plus lead, and that's going to make lead ions and silver. That's a solid, that's Aq, that's Aq, and that is Aq, and that's not Aq, that's a solid. Sorry. Okay, now, Here's the thing, that's the net reaction. And you can find what they call the voltage for that reaction, or the E naught. The E just stands for the voltage, and naught means standard conditions of 25 degrees Celsius and one atmosphere of pressure. The E value in the book for this reaction is 0 0.80 volts. The E value for this reaction is negative 1.23, but if you reverse the equation, you reverse the sign. And so it becomes positive 0.13 volts. All you do to get the E naught of the net equation is to add those two voltages together. Add the SOA's voltage to the reverse of the SRA and get 0.93 volts. By the way, you know what that means? That means that this reaction does take place because it produces electricity. The reverse of this reaction would be a negative 0.93 and it wouldn't actually occur naturally. When a reaction occurs, it, and it's got a positive voltage, we say it's spontaneous. And that will mean on this chart that it'll be left over right, oxidizing agent over reducing agent. But if it's right over left, in terms of the strongest oxidizing and reducing agent, you'll get a reaction that doesn't occur naturally and normally, and that's going to have a negative voltage, and it's called non-spontaneous.